how to activate your light body and accelerate your manifesting abilities. And I'm bringing on an incredible guest to share with you some stuff you have probably never heard. I know you've probably never heard this before because even though I have been doing this work for a long, long time, when I started working with this woman, I'd never heard of anything she talked about. I didn't know what a light body was. I didn't know how to activate it. And she's gonna share with you some stuff. I've told her just to be totally like real, raw, just let's drop some deep wisdom knowledge bombs. So for those of you who maybe are new to the spirituality space or the personal development space or um, the more weird and wonderful parts that this planet has to offer, this is gonna be a real treat for you. And I'm just gonna ask you, just to go with it and just have an open mind. Like, have an open mind, just try it on. I, I always say this, don't believe anything that I say. Don't believe anything that Jenny says. Just feel into what your own truth is. <laughs> and, um, and if you get triggered, great. Feel into why you get triggered. And um, if this is normal for you, let us know in the comments. So I'm gonna invite Jenny in now. Uh, Jenny is such a powerful, amazing, healer, teacher, speaker. She runs workshops and meditation circles and she's what's called a light body surgeon. And uh, yeah, I didn't even know that I had a light body, let alone that it needed surgery. But since I started working with Jenny, it's been like, I don't know, like four months now, things have just changed. I feel so much more connected with myself had loads of incredible opportunities come into my life and I think Jenny is just joining now so Jenny you just need to press accept and then we are good to go um, so if you let me know in the comments are you open to healing to spirituality do you believe in energy um, angels aliens we're going to cover all of these things today it's going to be absolutely insane uh, in the best possible way and then Jenny's going to take you through a powerful process that will literally help you to activate your light body which will help you to accelerate your manifesting abilities which will help you to bring in more of whatever it is that you want more of your power uh, Jenny is saying she's having trouble getting in Jenny make sure your phone is on landscape so sideways and um, it says that it sent you an invitation, so you just have to press accept. That's what it's saying to me on my side. So I think you just have to press accept. We're building up anticipation. Everyone's getting super excited. We've got people saying, oh yes. <laughs> hey Mary, hey Karen, Lynette, Veronica, Shan, Lucy, Nazma, Sue got a real treat for you here if technology perseveres this is going to be worth sticking around for uh, Jenny let me know what is going on it says it's adding you so you just need to press accept I'm gonna breathe everyone take some deep breaths get connected with your body I'm here <laughs> and welcome the amazing Jenny I'm Look, I'm, in the, I'm down the lock, and uh, as you can see, there's loads of boats down here, and it's like absolutely brilliant, but um, it was a bit noisy, <laughs> so I had to move away. I'm going to go and sit down now. Sorry, yeah. guys. You... Hello, Luke. Lovely to see you. <laughs> hey, Jenny. I've just been bigging you up, telling everyone how amazing you are, telling everyone how weird you are, and that they uh, had best come with an <laughs> open mind for this one, because we're going to tell them some stuff they've probably never heard before. Yeah, well, that's good, isn't it? So, yeah, you just take, just ask the question you need to ask. I'm going to go and sit down now. Uh, the lock has, <laughs> the water has now stopped, uh, you know, kind of making a noise. So um, I'm going to sit down next to it. Beautiful. I'm just in nature too. I'm just hanging out here. It's a no, nice place. Yeah. I, I like, I like oh. uh, coming to parks and just grounding and connecting. Uh, yeah. I've spent a lot of time today on my laptop and on my phone getting things ready for my event tomorrow. So it's like, it's nice to just come and chill and touch the floor yeah, exactly. a bit. Right. 
I See that have beautiful blue sky just behind me? Oh. A couple blue eyes. It's awesome, right? So, Jenny, let's get stuck. Let's oh. get stuck in while you find a comfy place. Yeah, can so you tell people? Here? As, yeah, as telling people that you are a light body surgeon and you help to activate people's light bodies. And that when I started working with you, I'd never even heard of the light body and I had no idea what it is. So can you explain to people what on earth it is and why does it need to be activated? Okay. So, <clears throat> all right. So this is the thing that came to me today. You know how... Uh, like special people are supposed to be enlightened well that's what we were maybe taught to believe like jesus you know he was enlightened the buddha was enlightened hmm. uh, that's great but we can all become like it's not like a limit like okay only this person or this person can become enlightened everyone can become enlightened it's fully possible and station is there to help people to become enlightened uh, a, lot, a lot quicker because we come into earth with a load of separation programs that makes us uh, you know stay asleep and feel you know I don't know unworthy we become traumatized uh, we feel that we haven't got the power to do it maybe uh, maybe we feel uh, you know fearful and stuff like that and that's just separation programs which can be cleared out quite easily so a lot of people may may not feel that but but for those who do that it's like totally possible to become fully plugged into your higher self to your oversoul and go towards enlightenment because it's it's no limit and that's what i do with the activations um so it's like a shortcut Beautiful. They are, they are state of the art, like tools. And the people on this profile are pretty plugged in. Uh, it's very, it's a very deep crowd, so we, I feel we can go quite deep today. So programs yeah. is a big thing. Most people understand that they have programs, and that these programs, some of them are created when you're a child. Some of them are created way before you get here. Some of them you choose yeah. for yourself consciously, and some of them happen maybe not so consciously. Um, arguably, you still, you still accept them, right? Yeah, so, that's right. So for people who maybe their life isn't quite where they want it to be right now, how easy is it to start getting rid of these programs and what's something that they can do? Okay, so some people listening to this now might say, oh yeah, I want to do it now, I want to go, get, go as quick as possible. And if you feel like that, you can go quick. If you're listening now and feel, oh, I'm not sure, okay, maybe I'll take one step at a time, then that's perfect for you. Mm. So it's all like there is a divine plan for everybody that we can all become enlightened in our own pace. So from, from, from working with you, Luke, I knew that you were a fast mover. So I was like, right, let's do this, let's do this, let's just go, you know, cut to the chase with stuff mm. because we could. But then some people are going to need a little bit more gentle uh, path, uh, which is perfect for their development. Mm. So therefore, it's like there is not one answer to how, how we become enlightened. Everyone has their own pace. Mm. But totally possible <laughs> for everybody. So Jenny, I know you teach this amazing way for people to get really, you, we call it being conscious creators, right? It is a three-step process. So what's the first step that you teach people? What do people need to do if they want to really accelerate their manifesting abilities and bring in more of this light energy? Like, where does it start? Okay, so there's three things I talk about. The first thing is to connect. Uh, and I just want to say that these three things will happen, happen um, sort of concurrently sometimes. And uh, it's not like linear order. But the first thing is to connect. So we need to learn to connect to our higher self and to our soul and listen, be able to listen to that because our higher self has all the information about us, us that we need to know. Anything else is like nonsense because the higher self has got the best plan for you, the soul plan, 
Um, and if we can hear the, the voice of the higher self, and if we can plug in in this way and follow the signature of spirit uh, in every step and every breath and every you know, uh, step that we take in life, uh, we, are go we are going towards an enlightenment. So connect is the first thing. And, you know, that can be through meditation, uh, through yoga, through, you know, physical and spiritual activities, um, through, uh, you know, connecting to your light body as such, through the uh, light body activations. But obviously you need a light body surgeon like myself to do it. Um, but um, you can do some stuff yourself, of course. There's, there's lots. I don't know how deep you want me to go on that, Luke, because there's so many things we can do. I see it like you're, when you connect to your highest self or when you connect to source or God or whatever you want to call it uh, or creator, whatever you call it for yourself, it's like having access to a GPS system that most people just never switch on. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> and, and so like it's universal library of truth. Yeah, exactly. And it, we all have yeah. access to it, but most people just never switch it on. It's like, it's just there and they never use it. But it just gives you this guidance. They may hear it, but they don't know what they're hearing. Yeah. So not sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it's about learning how can you really connect for me with my soul and my intuition. And like, how can I get so quiet? I can listen to it. That's been one of the biggest parts of connecting for me is becoming quiet because I was always so busy I always thought I had to rush and yeah. do things and like it's really hard to listen when you're busy right if you if you're talking how can you listen exactly so the best I mean the best gift is into listening I, I like talking <laughs> but I have to listen as well but the best thing is to listen inward and be quiet um the whispers from the soul can show up in different ways so it could be a feeling in the body uh, like an expansion you know it feels like good it feels like you've got tingling on your body you know your skin is tingling uh, you feel like exhilarated uh, it's like that could be that you're then hearing the voice of your soul uh, obviously it could be words so you can actually hear little words from your guides and your masters around you. Um, it could actually just be visuals so that you, when you close your eyes, you can see what's going to happen, you know, your clairvoyancy. So to hear the whispers of your soul, that can be in so many different um, ways. And you just, each person needs to learn exactly what works best for them you know my job is to help people to find their own um hear these whispers what are they so that they become empowered to create the life they want because mm. i can only support them so long right um in the sense that you know i can't you know i'm not going to tell them exactly what to do or i want them to know and feel that but my job is to teach people to find that perfect conversation with their soul. So when you first started hearing this guidance, these voices, talking to other beings, like what, how was that for you? Because for me, that was scary and I thought I was going insane until I found other people who were just as insane as me. And then I was like, oh, this is nice. But I thought at some point I was like going to get seconded. So how was it for you when you started hearing that stuff for the first time? Um, well, the first time, that something came to me which which I knew was the whispers from my soul if you like um was I was given images um I was traveling really far no actually not so fast but really in a dark night and obviously it wasn't my time to leave earth so I was traveling and uh, I saw these images of I'm Swedish so I saw these images of well then images of a moose uh, just right up to my car and literally for those who doesn't know that if you have a car crash with a moose you die they are like a one and a half ton mm. it can be up to two tons or more so it's kind of like it's not like hitting a deer or a fox so i i just knew so obviously my intuition my sense just i just stopped the car and this creature walked 
right up to the car. And I mean, I had probably about a minute. Mm. So obviously I was fully guided as well. You know, it's not just my soul. It was obviously my, my guides and my masters. So like, it's not Jenny's time to leave her, right? Yeah. <laughs> need, she needs needed. Some people need her <laughs> to help them like ascend. Um, so it was, that was really great, but I obviously quite scary. So, yes, it was scary in the sense that it was so true and that I knew that I could have been dead. Mm. Lynette, like, says, Lynette says, I sometimes get premonition dreams and then the uh, dream happens in reality and comes to pass. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, because, you know, the last year I've had about eight people dying in my life, friends and family, and I think, if we can just realize that life is not linear, you know, we are not here to just do a job and, you know, be here and have a family. I'm not meaning that in a horrible way, but like we are eternal lights. So it's very sad when people pass because you're close to them, but it's not the end. You know, and even that, the, the safety and the security I have when I speak to my dad, you know, he comes to me, died last year. And when I speak to him and when I feel him, yeah, I feel really sad sometimes because I really want to give him a hug. But having the abilities that I have, and everyone has those, by the way, yeah. gives me comfort. Mm. Because I know, and, you know, I will see him when I pass. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know these things and feel them and learn to use these abilities or, that we all have, our life becomes so much more full and, like, rich and just, yeah, just fulfilling. So, for people who might want to activate these abilities, they need to know your second thing. So, tell them your second thing. So, once you learn how to connect, the second thing is? It's clear. So you need to clear out your junk. <laughs> when we talked about the garage, right? Yeah. So we, yeah, you, you and me, we talk about a garage full of junk. And how, you, how can you sit in there and be comfortable if it's full of junk? You can't. So we decided that it needs to clear. But anyway, yes, so you can clear. So you need to clear out whether it's like trauma and conditioning and how you were brought up or whether it's past life stuff that you get drawn to specific people and they're not, it's not successful or it may not feel so good to be with these people because it's karmic stuff playing out, uh, that can all be cleared, like with divine mm. healing and the light body clear a load of junk out as well. Um, there's a lot of self, um, I teach people a lot of self-help as well so that you can clear as you go um, because obviously... You can't always have a session. You know, you need to be able to push through. And also what happens is when you start clearing your stuff out, even whether it's trauma, even illness, you know, all physical illness is just a manifestation of stuck energy. Yeah. Each person who's ill or becoming ill or anything, it's just stuck energy. And 100%. The, so exactly. So where the, sometimes people don't obviously don't know. You remember that you know most people don't have a lot of to tools, so they don't know. They're like, oh God, what do I do? I've got cancer. Do you know what I mean? I mean that's just like a big one. Um, but it's it's important to clear then emotionally. So what what got them there in the first place? What is it they didn't? Did they not regard themselves? You know, was there no not enough self love? Did they allow themselves to be walked over? You know, were they bullied? You know, what happened? Uh, mm. Also, physically, if you feed your body a load of junk, like processed food, the amount of processed food is just ridiculous that is around us. If it's not organic, you know, the world, the soil is depleted. You're not getting enough zinc and the magnesium and stuff like that. You need to eat organic. Mm. So if you have not so good food, you will also uh, get sick, right? You can get sick. Uh, and then all the past life stuff, 
because we do bring in things from the past. Oh, let's talk about past lives. Let's talk about past lives. That's juicy. Yes. What, what's your take on past lives then and, and karma and why certain things show up for us in this lifetime? Okay. So karma is not uh, a bad word. It's like it's like you, you, you show up in this life to become the very best version of yourself but unless you work through some of the challenges that you haven't completed before, you're going to have to complete them this lifetime or work through them. So I'll just take an, a, a small example. But if you're shy and, I don't know, introvert, then people say, oh, he's just shy and introvert. It's like maybe, you know, the program is probably there so that you are, can go on stage and speak and, be, and show yourself. Mm. So it's actually the opposite. So it's like you're working through your challenges or you allow yourself to stay where you are, but then no change happens and then it's really boring because mm. so, <laughs> we like change, don't we? <laughs> so I love, you know, I love to take people through the change and say, you can do it. Um, you know, you can work through this. There's no, it's only a program, like in the computer. Can you put it in the delete box? Why not? Delete it. We've done... <laughs> or like, you know, We've done a lot of different sessions together and I remember you were talking about before I come into this incarnation or anyone comes into this incarnation, we like, it's yeah. almost like we can go into a shop and we can choose what programs we want. And we're like, I want yeah. that program. I want that program. I want to feel really unloved. I want to be uh, abandoned. I want to feel totally separated from God. And like we pick all these different yeah. programs to make our game this game that we're in more fun right so we can overcome them because yeah. that's where the excitement yeah. is and when you told me that i was like and we started working through some of the programs i'd chosen and i was just thinking why the fuck did i choose those <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so we've got to have some programs so we can't come in earth unless we have programs we need to pick some unfortunately so the past life stuff, there's so many, so many different, uh, sorry about the airplane, uh, there's so many different aspects around that. So coming into Earth, yes, you have to pick your programs and your limitations so that you can then work through them. And it comes with devices and all sorts of nice little things that are in our etheric bodies to block the light, as you know, because we've cleared yours out. Um, so everyone has, has to have these so that we can stay asleep because it's a game of separation. We're separated from God. So if we came in totally plugged in, totally enlightened, totally remembering all our lives, everything, there's no point. Mm. There would be no point to be here because then we're already, you know, enlightened in a sense. Mm. Um, so, yeah, you have that with the past life. And as I said before, you come into soul groups and you know you and i i haven't like plugged into and asked how many you know times but you know you and i've probably been friends or been in the same family or lovers or something you know or brother sister you know before because mm. we were drawn to work together and this happens all the time yeah so we have lots of soul buddies yeah that we i, yeah. I love doing past life progressions like i've seen with my girlfriend uh, a past life where she was my mum and it's like it's super yep. weird but these things happen right because we choose the same souls to keep playing this game with and we're like cool like one time we're going to come yep. in and we'll all be monks together in Tibet and then the next time we're all going to come to London together and we're going to shake things up and it's like yeah it's really super interesting so Jenny people connect and they clear their shit and then, and then yep. the third thing <laughs> <laughs> the last one is create what does that mean what does, what does consciously creating mean to you okay so it means so can I just say something about the connect and the clear yeah so sometimes I, feel, uh, I will work with people and they will come to me and say oh I'm desperate to uh, you know whatever start this particular business or I feel my relationships are not working or whatever we may not start connecting straight away. We might have to do a lot of clearing before they can actually feel connected. Mm. But if 
depends on, you know. Um, I just wanted to say that because it's not, it's not like linear. So sometimes we have to do a bit more clearing for, you know, a few weeks before mm. we can, you know, really connect. And mm. connection becomes stronger as you go. And there's always but deeper levels. Yeah. There's always deeper levels to your connection as well. And there's always new things to clear. Like I, I find even though two, two and a bit years ago was when I first felt this connection, like every time I do sessions, it just gets deeper and deeper and deeper. So it's not something like, okay, I'm connected now. I'm good. It's like, it's constant because you can constantly keep refining and bringing even more light in, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And it becomes stronger. It's like, um, you know, the light body activations is, I always say it's like going from dial up broadband when it's really slow and it cuts off and then we can't hear it. And then it's all muffly to like su super fiber optic mm. where it's well like high, the highway to heaven mm. <laughs> which um for some people i mean you're very very connected luke anyway and i find that a lot of people uh when i say younger i mean like below 30 or they're just equipped with a bit, a bit less blocks to clear mm. or not equipped with them if you see what i mean and uh, they just have an, a really good connection anyway. So like for somebody like you, it's just really easy to work with you because it's already kind of, you're kind of in a good, good shape. But some people are not. So you just need a bit more clearing. Mm. So creation, yeah? Mm. That's what you want to talk, yeah. Let us know in okay. the comments if anyone's interested in learning how to create and manifest. Does anyone, do you think anyone would be interested in that? Yeah. Like create a life you want. <laughs> slave to the human conditioning. Oh, I'll just stay in this job. Maybe I get promotion and maybe they will see me one day. Mm. It's like, no. You can be seen now, you mm. know. If you're happy there, you've got to find a way out. You know, it might not happen as fast as you like, but, you know, it's, it's everything is possible. What's, um, the What's the difference between... Because we're always creating whether we're conscious of it or not, right? We're, every single moment of every single day, we create our reality. And a lot yeah. of people don't understand that, that at the very deepest level, we are a vibration and our patterns, our beliefs, our programs, it's a repeat, it repeats and repeats and that creates our, our, everything that we see, like a computer code. Yeah. So what's the difference between unconsciously creating and consciously creating like tell us can you tell us something interesting that's happened to you or maybe one of your clients like a really cool example yeah so okay so I do do the consciously creating first okay so I've got this uh, beta group that I'm running at the moment and one of the ladies in there she was like a little bit behind on the homework and she was like so apologetic and then she was telling me that she's done this amazing outdoor um, yoga kind of event with a full moon. And she's not, she's a yoga teacher, but she's not done any classes for years because she's in a full-time job. And she just did it. And I was like, you are, you are actually creating what we just spoke about. The first, you know, instance when we spoke when, before we started a six-week course. Mm. Uh, this is a group course. But yeah. And I'm like, don't worry about the homework you are creating. Like you are actually smashing in it. It's like you're doing it. And I know it's only one class and maybe, they, I can't remember, maybe there's only five people there or whatever. But I'm like, oh my God, you said you were going to do this and you're doing it. That's like yeah. conscious creation. She put it out there. She's done it. She hadn't done her homework, but she's set out to, oh, she's done some, do you know what I mean? But, you know, she... She set out to do this. So that was quite, it was just sweet. And it doesn't have to always have like a monetary, it's nice when it has monetary reflection, of course, but if you're just starting out to make things happen, it's not always going to you know, show straight away. You know, you've got to put the foundation into place. Um, unconsciously creating is like the, ch the thoughts that you choose, you become. You know, if you speak n not very nicely to yourself or if you... Uh, I was just saying, oh, that's not going to work. Oh, that's gonna, we're not going to work. It's not going to mm. work. Because mm. you create that. Mm. So every single word and every single thought that you have 
is creating the reality that is outside of you. You know, so when people say, oh, oh, this has happened to me, this has happened to me, this has happened to me, it's like, okay, well, you, you have created that. Indirectly, maybe not even knowing it, you are creating this reality. And you've... I know, I know you're like me, Jenny, and we are both very openly spiritual and, and connected, but at the same time, we're both very scientific and we're both quite logic-minded and we love physics and... Uh, quantum mechanics and we like to really understand how things work and like for me saying to people that you create your reality sounds fluffy but it's not like literally you are a vibration you are a pattern and if you want to change your reality if you want to change what you see change the pattern and you have and the yeah. deeper level you can change that if you can change that at the core of where the pattern started everything around you will change too and you see this yeah. when people get new habits like their whole life changes. It's because they shift the pattern, right? So if anyone wants to know more, uh, and Jenny's going to do a really cool process now, and then she'll tell you how you can connect with her and everything like that. But Jenny, have you got something cool that we can do that might shift some people's patterns? Yeah. I think I will do a clearing. Great. So if somebody, so if somebody feels... Um, Okay, so if you're feeling tired, you're feeling a bit scatty, you may feel a bit ungrounded, uh, you may feel a bit sort of, you know when your mind is not really in order, it feels a bit like, like this. And um, if you feel sad, I mean anything, it's going to work. Okay, so we can do a clearing and for those who are listening live, uh, if you can pick sort of within yourself and think right what is it that is bugging me at the moment you know what what is um i don't want us to go into like really specifics because it's going to be quite difficult but i just want if somebody feels that they've been abandoned or they feel unworthy or they've not been seen or maybe they feel un, you know they've been unfairly treated or just anything quite light not too because it's going to be otherwise it's too specific it has to be kind of general but any feeling of not feeling great um if you could just name it now in your head and say yeah or pissed off you might feel pissed off <laughs> <laughs> on someone or something um so you just kind of name that in your head and say and and then and then set the intention to clear it as in you want to let it go and it can just transform into light and we're going to let it, you know, let it do that. Um, and that's about it. And what I'll do, I'm going to um, do some of the command code quietly. Uh, and I just want everyone just to relax. Um, maybe close their eyes if they want. We'll do it for about five minutes. Um, so okay, sounds everyone amazing. take a deep breath. Huh? Sounds amazing. And just to say, I'm burping when I do the clearing. <laughs> so if you can hear me burp, it's just me clearing the stuff out. Okay. So everyone take a deep breath. Just centre yourselves to breathe in, in through, into your core. And just allow your roots to connect to Mother Earth. Feel like you're fully connected. If you're sitting down, just allow your roots coming from your bottom of your spine into the earth. If you're standing up, again, the same thing. Just connect to all your chakras. So I want you to just open up your root, which is at the bottom of your spine, and let the roots go down to Mother Earth, nourish you, Feel that you're very supported and loved and connected. Then you go to your second chakra, which is in your belly, so your hara. Just connect to this. This is your chakra of pleasure and creation, creativity. Take your attention up to your solar plexus, which is where your personal power sits. If you have a lump here, I really want you to think about how you feel maybe disempowered or not that you're in your power. Um, and just allow that to clear as we do the process. 
and then move your attention up to your heart chakra. And what I'd like you to do is just to open your heart and just allow the energy to radiate throughout your whole body, throughout every cell, through to your DNA and outside of yourself as well. So just let that heart energy spread into this, the building you're in, out into the town that you're in, and then out into the county and the country that you're in and just allow this heart energy to expand into other countries and to the rest of the world and out into the universe. So your heart energy is expanding out into the universe. And then take your attention to your throat chakra, which is, can feel blocked for some people. Uh, important that you speak your truth from your heart allow it to clear as we do this process as well so if you feel stuck there just allow this to clear as we do the process now the third eye just focus your intention or your um, focus onto your third eye here and allow the third eye to open and spin because this is your clairvoyancy this is how you can see into the future so you just let that open and then I want you to take attention to the top of your head, allow your crown to fully open. And it's like you've got a thousand and thousands of petals on top of your head. And they're opening them up and you are connecting now to Father Sky. So you allow Father Sky and Mother Earth to fully support you in this process. I want you to close your eyes. So I'm gonna do the clearing process now quiet some of it quiet so healing team online for this entire group of this live call for those who are listening now and for those who are listening to the replay as well there's no linear time everyone is in this healing bubble just put your intention to come into the healing bubble okay so everyone's teams are alive. So we clear all interference. So I ask the specialists to clear an interference in everyone's fields that are standing in your way right now. I'll set up a team that will do this on the replay as well. So all the interference clear. Just allow your team to clear up your aura, to clear up your interference, clear up all the distortions that may be swirling around in your aura that is blocking your connection. Now ask this clearing to be continuous through the process. you to think about this one thing that whether it's feeling angry or abandoned or sad or even the small and then I want you to pick a number One till twenty-six. So whatever comes to your mind. Pick a number. We're now picking the origin of the time where it comes from. So where it originates from. Just relax into the process and just trust the process. So this healing is unlimited. It could be a thousand people watching this now. 
it doesn't matter. It's the same. Okay, so connect to this one issue now. I'm just, as I do the command codes quietly in my mind, I want you to just let it go. Leave your system and say goodbye to it. Okay, so just close your eyes. Saint Germain and Purple Flame, I ask you to burn out all low frequency energies that we have discovered. We clear it out at all levels. 100% the core issue. Throughout all levels and dimensions, multidimensionally. allow this now to leave your system we're going to seal it up in the end so it does not return any feelings coming up related to it, just let it leave your system, let it leave your consciousness, just let it transform into, to, into light. Your, your guides and your team is taking care of it. Shaman <laughs> noise, <laughs> really deep. Okay, so the team has now cleared this multi dimensionally. So, I'd like now to to have some nutrition infused to everyone to their appropriate, their appropriate level and to whatever they need for their optimal support to integrate this healing right now. Just allow this to sink into your system. Just allow the changes to be made. Okay. So when everyone feels like it's finished, you can open your eyes. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jenny. <laughs> for you, Luke. I feel super chilled. Good. I feel very, very good right now. Mm. So for those, of you, good pro for those of you who just tuned in midway through the process, do go back and watch the replay. Um, watch the whole thing and where we explain a bit about what just happened because otherwise it might be a bit weird for you. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but Jenny is an amazing light body surgeon and divine healer and does all this super cool stuff. So she just did a little process with us to help us to shift something in our life. Uh, Sue says she's seeing purple lights. Thank you. Uh, she's asking about the burping and the yawning. Yeah. Burping and yawning is just releasing, you know, so, um, 
a lot of the times when I do processes, I yawn a lot. Or sometimes I cry, sometimes tears come down, uh, burping. I'm just crying. Great. <laughs> all different ways for our body to release things because energy has to be released in some way, right? Which, yeah. So for those of you who are wondering why Jenny was yawning, no, she's not tired. <laughs> I'm not really awake. <laughs> Let us know how you're feeling in the comments. How was that for you? Jenny, that, that was magical. So how can people get in touch with you if they want to learn more about activating their light body, if they, can, if they want to know more about the divine healing or your business programs? Like, what do they need to do? Well, you know, the thing is, the way I look at it is that if you feel drawn to all this that we've been talking to and you think, oh, I can't wait to do it, then you can just like contact me and we can have a chat because it's like, you know how you know you're pulled? Mm. Uh, uh, how you and me were just kind of pulled and this is what happened a lot of my clients that's one thing so you can just drop me a line uh, and we can just have a chat um, but with a light body like technically if you like if you are really serious about coming online whether it's your business or with a new um, you know turning your life around or if you're already a light worker or somebody supporting other people in their growth, I would almost say that the light body activations are like a necessity because you want to be as clear and as grounded and as you know aligned as possible if you're taking other people through change. Mm. So to me, it's, well, why would you not want to be like that? So if you are a transformator already or want to become one, I would say the light body activations are just like, you just would love them. You will have so much, get so much shift from them. It's like empowering and you just become a little bit invisible, you know, <laughs> or you might, you might feel like that. Um, so yeah, that the business programs I do are, I work with other light workers, literally helping them with what we just said as well, what we just said now and also helping them uh, with their business models, you know, because I've, I've had my own business in 20 years now, uh, and it wasn't always that easy <laughs> to, to do stuff. You know, I've had to learn the hard way, like really hard way. And I have a big program, online program, which I take people through um, business growth, and they're for light workers. So if you can't... And, I don't know what to do. And what I really love about you, Jenny, and what you do is even though you're teaching business, you're teaching like holistic business. It's like spiritual. Everything is interlaced with how do we get you connected with your soul? How do we clear your crap? And how do we get you to create yeah. in a conscious way? Because I think a lot of people struggle with creating because they're firstly not connected. So they're trying to create something that's maybe not even really true for them. And it's kind of like an uphill struggle, you know, and, and even if they have created something, it might not be flowing the way they want it to because they need to clear a load of this stuff that's, that's stopping them from rising energetically and bringing in all this amazing abundance. So I really love yeah. what you do. And uh, just thank you so much for all the help you've given me. And um, yeah, Jenny uh, runs workshops as well. She runs meditation circles. She's going to be speaking at a lot of our events and stuff coming up. So uh, you'll be seeing a lot yeah. more of Jenny. So yeah, connect with her on Facebook and... Um, Jenny, if you want to drop a link or anything in the comments as well uh, for people to find you, yeah. anyway, that would be great. Uh, we've got some feedback for you. Uh, Karen says she's very emotional. Richard says, wow. Mary says, that was amazing. Sue says she feels oh. like uh, Karen says, what an amazing experience. It was incredible. Oh, wow. Cool. I love that. Yeah. So, I mean, the thing is, as I said, when we just said before, if you feel drawn and if you just like what I've just done, I'm happy just to have chat. So I probably, if I drop a link, it would probably just to talk to me, you know, like a link to book, like a free session with me. Cause I, I do 30 minutes, you know, on zoom and we have a chat and we connect and see what we can do and stuff. So probably that would be the best link to drop because then we can just and see what we can do. <laughs> and whoever, if you do feel a pull to work with Jenny, you're going to be in for an incredible ride. It's going to be emotional. It's going to be a lot of stuff come up. 
Uh, you're going to have to really face a lot of stuff, and that's what the spiritual journey is about. So this is not for the faint-hearted. This is for people who are ready to do some serious work and make a big difference, right? Not for the shortcut, people. Mm. It's like you do it. <laughs> you've got to clear your stuff out. There's no shortcut. There's like you've got to just do the processes. And, and um, yeah, if there was a shortcut, we'd all have it, wouldn't we? Well, clearing, but, clearing the stuff out is the shortcut. The long cut is keeping the stuff. Yeah, and then exactly. 40 years later, you figure out that, oh, why is it not working now? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. The shortcut is to clear all the stuff out, of course. But, yeah. you know, like people say, oh, they want the way or, you know, yeah. they make it. The, or, you know, there, is, there isn't really. We've got to do clear our shit out. <laughs> Beautiful, Jenny. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. Um, Jenny, I'd like to end with, I want to ask you this, okay? And it can be about what we've talked yeah. about or something completely different. But yeah. if there was one thing that you could share with our audience, all the people watching, that you think could have a yeah. really big impact on their life if they really take it on board, what would your one thing be you'd want to share with them? Focus on what is right in front of you. Not like how it's going to be in 10 years or 20 or 50 or how it was five years ago right now. So I would say just right now, have your long-term goals, visions, whatever, have them there. But throughout your day, you focus on the here and now in the very present. And you'll find that even doing processes and stuff like that, it's like easier because you're not worrying. You're just here, right here and now in this moment. Like you are now listening to this. And that's where pure bliss is. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you so much. That was yeah. awesome. And everyone do connect with Jenny. She's got my absolute stamp of approval. So go check her out. And um, yeah, amazing. Let us know in the comments what you thought of that. If it was weird for you, if there was anything we said that uh, triggered you, or maybe you want some more info about, I'm, I'm sure Jenny can answer some questions as well. I'll be happy to answer some as well. So post anything below Just, uh, you can befriend me if you want to befriend me and, and we can have a chat as well you don't have to book like a free session with me but if you just want to connect that's fine as well so beautiful, beautiful. all right jenny have an amazing night lots of love and speak soon